Well, hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to have a <clears throat> reaction to um, the new trailer for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 from a photographer perspective. Um, we're going to look at the graphical improvements, uh, whatever we can find in the image. Uh, uh, I saw a couple things on Reddit about it, so I just wanted to go over it and um, see what Microsoft has, has to offer now uh, after four, four years, basically, of uh, since the release of 2020. So I'm going to make sure we're watching this. Uh, the highest that we can and let's uh watch it and um then uh we can go back and uh stop in different different parts <laughs> I'm seeing a lot of detail already. LAX. The sky is calling. Okay, there's there's a lot to unpack over here. Um, so, it's a little interesting things. Um, I believe that this uh, weather engine, uh, I wouldn't say the weather engine, but the the colors, the the reshade has been applied to 2020. Uh, because you can you can get those type of colors in 2020. Um, what is really surprising me is uh, and pretty impressive is the level of detail in the ground. Uh, from what I read, supposedly they're using AI, so I don't know how how that's gonna work. But um, uh, the dynamic range is nice. You still have details in the in the skies and the highlights, and then you have a bunch of detail in the foreground here. Um, with the rocks and everything. Uh, let me mute the music so we can... Uh, okay, powered by satellite data and Azure AI. Okay. Um, I mean, you could say that... You know, you can definitely notice at the end that there's a video game or a simulation, but if you frame this and color it correctly, you can pass this as a photograph, you know? Um, very detailed um you know the reflections and the the smoke coming out of the engine 
Um, another thing that uh, here that I realized, I don't know if this is a custom scenery, but just looking from the altitude of which the planes are being recorded, um, it looks very detailed. I mean, you can see some cars, one, two, one red car. Um, I don't know if they did anything to the ground vehicles or the AI or if, if that is just um, part of the scenery. But already it's looking nice. Everything's looking sharp and uh, very detailed. Uh, the chem chemtrails or whatever you want to call it. Um, and the current uh, 2020 is okay-ish, but it seems like they have done a bit of work on that. Um, it looks a bit better now. Uh, the transition from orange to uh, more yellow, uh, not a more greenish tint uh, here. Very interesting in the color waves. There we go. Look at the the level of detail, the level of detail on the ground. Very impressive. Okay, here. Um, I don't know how to feel about this because uh, I believe this is, uh, huh? British Airways. I was going. Yeah, there's a, there's American Airlines A three twenties. No, uh, United A320. So I, I, I think this is LAX. Might be wrong, but I, I believe it's LAX. Um, it it cannot be Heathrow, but um, yeah, there's a lot of traffic going on here. A lot of cars in the parking lot, and that's one of the things that we suffer with in uh, 2020, where if you're landing. The simulator is rendering all these cars in the parking lot and it makes you stutter uh, because the, the the CPU was just rendering other things that are not necessary. Uh, but here in the trailer, um, you know, it's, they, ha they have a lot of things going on. The cars, the, the vehicles driving around, the planes taking off, uh, the lighting, all the aircraft in the background. Uh, you know, it's, it's different when you see it on on a trailer that is made to look nice than when you're actually using the product. So let's take all of this with a grain of salt. <laughs> Here, you know, uh, the first time they did that uh, mini review or whatever reveal, they show that there were there's gonna be these um, uh, story modes or whatever you wanna call it. Uh, uh, the f it's, uh, Looking at this now, it, it makes me wonder if um, there's going to be a thing where you can select your uh, character and, you know, go, on, you know, uh, and have a career and start from the bottom and become a pilot or whatever, um, because the, the camera angle, the way it's set up, or it could just be a random mission, a DLC mission or something that it only happens once um, and it's not uh, like a you know, uh, a, a main part of the simulator, uh, but, but it, it looks nice. Uh, a lot of detail in the aircraft, uh, the sunset, uh, the reflections. Uh, if you look in the fuselage, uh, there's some tear and wear, or it could be condensation in the aircraft. Uh, some shadows, okay. Oh, weird. Look how, while she's walking, the shadows being reflected into the airframe move with her body. So it's weird because clearly the sun is not behind her. It's uh, the sun is to the seven o'clock of the plane. Uh, but somehow her shadow is affecting uh, that big part over here between the door, the main door and the, and the end of her uniform. Look at it again. See? Um, a lot of people probably didn't notice that. A lot of detail on the gear. Uh, nice colors. Uh, very saturated. Uh, I'm wondering if they're going to go for a more saturated look. Uh, because I know when they released 2020, it was more of a uh, middle of the ground saturation with colors. It wasn't too saturated. Uh, in daytime besides sunset and sunrise. Um, 
a lot of details on the engine covers here clearly uh airbus uh it looks like it's a yep a330 um somebody posted a screenshot on reddit about it um another thing that is very interesting is the passengers here walking into the uh on the gate on the gate bridge to the plane um uh, i have tried gsx and i have to tell you that the interface is very slow it's makes the whole experience feel very sluggish i know people love it but if microsoft is able to take care of that and make it uh more optimized and uh, uh you know because it seems like that's the the girl that was walking towards the the aircraft so i don't know if this is part of a mission or something else but uh currently the current state of gsx when i use it it's like oh my god it's so nice but then i'm like oh my god it, it makes everything move so uh my apologies it, it makes uh everything look so slowish in the cockpit it's, it's a hassle um so I don't know if, if this is something that Microsoft is going to include in the simulator or not, but uh, you can see that there's a bunch of aircrafts, a bunch of ground, ground equipment and, and trolleys and cars. You see the the guys over there working, um, the reflection on the, on the glass. We, we have some of those things in 2020, so uh, nothing too crazy. Uh, let's resume. Yep. Uh, clearly here we see a tablet and the, the only company that makes a, you know, fly a tablet that way is Inibelt. So clearly this is a Inibelt product. Uh, it seems like it's a A330. Yep, A330 uh, based on this, the pedestal there. Um, this can be... It means two things. Either uh, Inibels is working on the A330 for 2024, probably paid by a Sobo. Uh, but just looking at this, uh, the cockpit looks, looks a little bit stale. It's not a lot of detail. Um, you know, eventually, hopefully, by the time I release, if this is going to be an actual aircraft, um, you know, it's probably going to look better. But uh, Aerosoft, uh, you need to hurry up or <laughs> you're not going to have a market to sell that plane. Wait, let's see. Yeah, that's that's LAX. Uh, yeah, this that's a LAX. I'm gonna take it off. Uh, it's a loss of detail there in the cockpit and the displays so because of the sun. Uh, rotate. Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of planes in the the backgrounds uh, taxiing and doing stuff. Uh, there was a bit of a, oh, that's JFK. It's not, uh, it's not LAX. Cause that's the World Trade Center over there. And another building. Hmm. The fact that you're able to see the World Trade Center, um, it's not, it's not called that, but whatever. Um, so far away from this angle. I'm wondering if they fixed the rendering issue. Um, there you go. This is uh, Australia. We've been there. Uh, nice detail in the aircraft. I guess this is part of those missions and stuff. Looks very nice. Uh, I have to say that. Yeah. That's going to be a very, uh, very interesting. I think people are going to like those type of uh, missions and stuff like that, especially people on the Xbox. Uh, it's a different player base. Um, so here we go. Oh, let's see this. Let's go back. I don't want to. Hmm. Go back. You know that issue where on the current simulator, the, the grass renders to like a certain distance and then for it to render at the end of, let's say, the horizon there, you have to keep going that way. I'm wondering if 
that has been fixed or not because clearly you can see the rendering of the grass until that uh, spot over there um, and then it just becomes a bit of a nothing burger but I'm wondering if they fix the render on the on the grass this is regular lighting nothing special even um, <coughs> the terrain data the assure data I, I don't now looking at this um, stopping and looking at it um, why would they even include this I mean look at the 3d data the buildings look disgusting um, you know uh, I I don't know they were talking about a new engine but you show this uh, yeah I don't know I, I, I wouldn't if I'm them I would have never shown this because the buildings look like a mesh a mesh of things it doesn't look good at all it looks like 2020 and if you look into the foreground you still have that white space of like n nothing being rendered so I'm wondering if uh, these problems have been fixed or not colorway um, you know color wise the colors look nice but the 3d uh photographer photo photographic uh, data looks terrible i hope that's not ai doing that because holy but good thing is that there's a lot of ships we already have something like that uh with the uh, all these uh, extra add-ons that you can add ships but yeah this port here uh, becomes a mess. You don't you don't even know what you're looking at. This is nice. Just a uh, VIP uh, private pilot. Cool. Uh, this is Aspen, by the way, I believe. Uh, either yeah, it looks like Aspen or I don't know uh, Jackson Hole, something like that. A VIP charter. Beautiful mountains. The mountains look like they they look about the same. Uh, yeah, they a, a bit more uh, detailed in the and in, in these uh, these mountains here, but nothing extraordinary. This is nice, nice green tint. Uh, looks very detailed, very nice. Uh, it seems like the. Uh, custom missions uh, are going to get a special treatment, but I think it, it seems like the rest of the simulator is about the same. Oh. Okay, this is good. A good uh, indicator here. Um, the way the grass is moving, it seems like uh, your vehicle, <laughs> your vehicle. <laughs> Uh, your aircraft is gonna have some type of uh, effect on the the grass, so that's nice. Basically, uh, some type of effect on the environment around you, so that's that's an improvement. Seems like the the clouds look better. Uh, the water looks about the same. Uh, it looks nice, um, but like I said, these special missions they seem like they're they're gonna have. A very good level of detail and a very very good uh, color rendering and work done to those. I don't know about the rest of the world in general how that's gonna look. Yep, nice waters. Everything looks beautiful. Nice camera view here. This is telling. Uh, if if you were to take off that helicopter. You could say this was 2020, um, you know, still have those uh, empty spaces at the end with the render issues, the, the photogrammer, photogrammery, uh, can pronounce that, uh, data looks about the same from what we have in 2020, so not an improvement there. Uh, the clouds from this point of view look about the same. Nice. This is probably handcrafted. This is a good point of view. I mean, this aircraft is a very detailed. This Airbus here. Um, 
we have like a magenta a tint uh, i wonder if the the sunsets i wonder if the atmosphere and the sunsets are gonna vary based on weather and uh, the pre the weather pressure and all these things because um I, I don't know if I've seen something any if I have seen anything like this color wise in the uh, current uh, uh, current uh, simulator uh, and that's another thing too it could be a thing where they're recording this uh, footage and then they're color grading on top of it so it might not even look like this this is nice uh, very colorful seems like they're they want to uh, they're targeting uh, a nice color gamma I guess uh, and then you have your firefighters nice okay this uh, when I saw this um, this is one of the scenes that shocked me the most uh, Yosemite uh, currently, Yosemite doesn't look like this in 2020, so it's an improvement. So I'm wondering if it is a thing where it's like some other areas are going to get new data and they're going to look better in some areas. It's just like it's too much that we have to work on and some areas are going to be neglected, um, you know, the four years and they already did one. So you would think that. Uh, more work would have could have been done in other parts. I don't know. I'm just a guy on a computer. I don't do any type of this work, but just observing. Um, yeah, you know, somebody looks nice. Uh, very detailed, a Capitan, and uh, yeah. This one here seems like uh, mud, and and um, I'm wondering if if this aircraft is. If that dirty livery is a uh, default, if it just looks like that, or if the environment can get your uh, fuselage and your aircraft dirty based on the environment, because if they added that type of effects where you're taking off in the bushes or in grass or, or mud or water, it affects the livery. That's an improvement right there. Very nice improvement. So, but you can see that. Uh, the mud being, uh, you know, uh, ejected by the, the wheels uh, is sticking to the airframe. So uh, that's something that could be a very welcome change. Um, you know, they're playing with colors. Clearly, they, they want things to pop up. You know, they, they have been using a lot of red, orange, uh, very colorful things. Not midday. uh they're not using midday lighting where everything looks uh, pale. So here, you know, you have the green background and the yellow aircraft. So it's going to pop. It's going to look, it's going to look better, but it could just be the same as 2020. Uh, here, um, seems like they added, um, yeah, so I don't know. I guess this bring everything, it brings everything together. I guess it is going to be a first person mode where you can just get off your aircraft and walk and or be in the tarmac and work and get on your plane and stuff like that because here the uh the avatar is off the plane it's not there um and they have a camera because clearly that's what the frame looks like and um on the mud and everything so um and Yeah, they're taking photos. So, um, seems like they added a first-person mode where you can move your character wherever you want and you can take photographs. So, if you just go to a nice place, you line your aircraft or your helicopter, you take some shots and I don't know, you share those. Uh, here, we have uh, friends and uh, we have some nice uh, sunrise. Um, the sun is, well... I'm wondering if that's the east or west. It looks like it's a sunrise. Because usually they fly balloons early in the morning when it's cold. So, um, And it's a different uh, tint uh, that we haven't seen in the simulator. Usually the sunrise and sunsets are very um, pink and orange. 
uh, reds. I've seen very strong reds, but we haven't seen anything like this with this uh, orange, uh, you know, green tint. It looks nice. Another aircraft and I guess Dubai uh, or whatever this is. It looks it looks nice. The sky looks nice. Uh, the colors. Uh, Rio de Janeiro, Rio de Janeiro, looks nice. Uh, the camera's moving too fast, so you don't get a chance to, like, look how far the level of detail goes, you know, because you can get this shot in 2020. Now, uh, this is interesting. Here we have the plane landing, and then you have some um, some croco crocodiles. This looks like probably Florida or somebody in some place in Central America or South America. Uh, mountains, uh, very details. Uh, the mountains are very detailed here. Um, here, so like I said, they're, they're playing with colors. They're blues and reds, and the yellows. They're trying to make everything pop. Um, very detailed. The rock, uh, probably a handcrafted uh, uh, mission. And here, uh, it seems like there's uh, seasons now by the fall I might be right might be wrong I don't know but clearly you can see the the foliage has changed um, so that could be something well this is very interesting because um, the uh, I'm wondering if the the whole planet is going to be this detail when it comes to random terrains or bushes and stuff like that because if if random terrains and bushes are this detail it's going to be very nice for people to like to do bush flying and stuff like that uh, and i guess here they're in the desert we have the cactuses um it it seems like it's a custom a custom uh mission or something because uh, the cactuses are very detailed they're not just like um they look handcrafted it's not just like um, photogrammery and like using ai to figure it out what it is it looks like this area is uh, handcrafted because the, the cactuses look very detailed very true to life um so it's not just random stuff um and yet uh, clearly their seasons uh, this looks like they Andorax in New York and you know we have a air balloon looks nice uh, the atmosphere looks very nice it's clearly sunrise is coming and then you have uh, the nice sky over here so uh, very nice uh, rendition of color and uh, the atmosphere I wonder if they did something with the stars to make them look brighter um, Yeah, very nice the animals and everything so it's pretty pretty cool here we have a scene in a uh, chapa here the the clouds this is the first time where the clouds look um, very nice I mean they look soft uh, they they don't seem as they don't look well I cannot tell because this is a video and it's already been compressed and all that but the clouds look very colorful and then you have the lightning the lightning air the light light <laughs> can't even pronounce that the lighting uh, but yeah everything seems uh regarding the water uh it looks like 2020 nothing special i'm wonder if they added wipers working wipers um, which is you should have that because uh, we fly on the rains and all kinds of weather so um, here i guess they're flying away from a storm this is a very interesting shot because uh, you have the areola, areola varieties, or whatever you want to call it. Then you have a yellow tint of the sun uh, going down. But then you have, it seems like there's clouds or some sort of uh, haze on top of this mountain here. Uh, because it, it doesn't look like a flat, it looks like a little crater and then there's something on top of it. Um, you know, and then you have the reflection of the moon, uh, which is it's very interesting. The reflection on the moon on the water here. Um, it looks 
pretty insane. The sky is calling. Um, that's it for the quick view. I hope it wasn't too long. Um, I don't know. Honestly, just don't get overhyped. Um, it looks like eye candy. They know what they did. They use flashy colors, reds, blues, oranges, and, um, you know, uh, colors to, to get your attention. We didn't get a chance to, like, see actual gameplay or, um, you know, something that would give you a sense of, like, oh, this is something new or it's just, like, more of the same. So this is my quick view of the trailer. I hope I didn't bore you guys. Um, and all of this is from a perspective of somebody that does photography and knows what type of colors people look for and, uh, you know, in a, your average fly simmer. So I'll see you guys next time. Take care.